morning everybody it's Ellie hot mess mom it is about 8 o'clock on Tuesday morning and I have somewhere to go today so I thought I'd wash my hair because I hadn't washed it since Friday and um, I wanted to try a new Monate product today I have um, I've used the Renew shampoo it's right there and the smoothing deep conditioner I used those Friday and loved them and um, another new product that I got Friday that I haven't had a chance to try out is the blowout cream. So um, I got a little extra excited and already put it in my hand before I turn the camera on. But it says it is infused with Rejuvenique. Its job is to smooth, protect, and control. The directions say apply one to two quarter sized amounts to freshly wash, damp, hair evenly from root to tip blow dry and style as desired and then it says we say no to toxic ingredients cruelty free 100% vegan doesn't contain a whole list of stuff so um, that's one quarter sized amount I'm gonna just rub this in my hands I watched a little video about it too um, that's one good thing like uh, your monate market partner if you don't know how to use a product I have resources um, like there are videos produced by the company um, okay so I've worked it through the bottom half I'm just gonna run my fingers through the top there are videos and product sheets produced by the company and I can text or email or send them to you however so if you're like hey I got this product and I, I read the instructions but I'd like to see how to use it those resources are there it's always like people like, oh, so it's a little cheesy, but you know, they're selling that product. This smells nice. It doesn't smell, it's not the same scent family as the shampoo and conditioner. I would be interested to know, just a question I'm wondering, like, how do they decide what smells like what? I like that not everything smells exactly the same because if you hated the scent of something, um, you know, there are options. All right, so I've worked this into my hair, and now I'm going to go get the blow dryer and dry it. It showed the girl in the video just using her fingers to blow dry, which is good. That's typically what I do. But then she finished with a round brush. And um, those round brushes with all the, like, crazy bristles together, they hardly ever get, like, they don't comb my hair. My hair is so thick. Um, so I don't have that kind. I have one. I think my brush, my, my round brush is 20 years old like for real um, so I'm gonna see if I can find it and I'll try and use that but if not I'm not too stressed about it I might end up curling it with the flat iron anyway so I'll be right back okay so I don't know what all I'll use um, here's my brush I'm gonna brush the product through it said to do that with a wide tooth comb which someday I'll go track down um, but this was just to evenly distribute the blowout cream and see, like, even this brush, those bristles, like, those bristles, it's a wet brush, they don't make it all the way to my scalp. Okay. And then here is my ancient round brush. And again, if the bristles are far apart, there's all sorts of hair in there. Sorry, haven't used this in a while. So, here we go. So the timer on my phone, oh, I forgot to use the round brush for real. Okay, I'll turn it back on. But my hair is dry, and um, the timer on my phone right now is just about to hit six minutes, and that's including uh, my intro when I was talking about, like, when I brushed through. So, if, like, 
one of the pros that I that really appeals to me that I don't really see marketed from money is that I can dry my hair so fast. All right, so I'm gonna turn this back on and try and use the round brush. If you are a hairstylist and the way that I'm blow drying my hair or using this round brush is personally offensive to you, I'm sorry, but I'm not a hairstylist. I'm just not even going to keep bothering with it. Guys, this is why I need a product like Monate because I clearly have no skills when it comes to styling hair. So, um, the whole like round brush at the end this is not my uh, skill set but look at my hair look at how like smooth and shiny and really I mean I've brushed it through with the round brush but not much and not well but just look at it oh. so I I could leave it like this um, I think I'm probably gonna roll it so I'll check back in when I'm ready for the day and you can see my final look Okay, so here is my hair after I've curled it. Lots of volume, but totally smooth. Here are the curls. I haven't looked at it from the back, so if I missed a spot, just remember that's me, not the product. And I might check in um, again later tonight to see like how the curls held. Um, we'll see. And, and I'm only saying we'll see because I have... Uh, Cub Scouts tonight. Um, but one thing I do want to notice before I get off is, or I want you guys to know, is that prior to using these products, I, when I would um, style my hair with my flat iron, I had to have it on the highest setting. Like mine has a setting for thin hair, for medium hair, um, for thick hair, and then coarse hair. And I would use that highest one, which is like 425 degrees, because if I didn't use it, it wouldn't even curl. And so today I have it set on the medium setting. Um, I noticed when I would use that highest setting, my hair would almost be too curly. And so for the first day I would be like, <laughs> it kept like separating and going back into, you know, what it looked like as soon as it came off of the, the um, styler, the flat iron, that's what that's called. Um, so I am using less heat for my hair to look like what I want it to and so that means less heat damage so I'm liking it hey I almost forgot to check in this evening um, here I am end of the day here's my hair I'm in the bed I'm about to take my makeup off um, so this is using the what did I use renew shampoo smoothing deep conditioner and the blowout cream so hair's looking smooth still has tons of curl um, I definitely haven't curled it again I have brushed through it and today was not just like sitting on the couch we um, William and I ran some errands and we played outside and then at the Boy Scout meeting I like handed out awards and did games for 30 minutes with 50 boys so it's not an easy day today and my hair still looks fabulous so I like the blowout cream I really didn't know if I would or not but I like it pretty well um, that's it if you haven't hit that red button yet or given me a thumbs up go ahead and do that and find me on all my social medias I hope you guys have a great day bye so it's the next morning and I'm just like the kids have woken up and gotten ready for school and left like look at the just demolished kitchen table yeah and I was walking past the mirror and like look at my hair like I literally just woke up like this bam